Hello viewers, welcome to our program, Marriage and the Home. I am Israel Tajumawo, I'm a minister of God with the Church of Christ. Um, we have been on this episode for quite a while, and I want to appreciate all those who have been watching our program, Marriage and the Home. Uh, in our last episode, we talked about the challenges of marriage. Today, we want to pick out one of these challenges and look at it critically, and that is finance, the problem of finance that is affecting a lot of uh, marriages. Uh, to do that with me here is a special guest. Uh, he is a minister of the gospel with the Church of Christ. He is also the director of Bear Valley Bible Institute. I want you to welcome uh, our beloved brother, Mark Inde, uh, Ebenezer. You are welcome, sir. Glory, sirs. Nice to have you on our program, sir. Thank you for the okay. opportunity. So, we want to learn from the experience of our daddy, our teacher, who has been in many years in marriage. Daddy, how long have you been in marriage? It's almost, that's just going to 30 years. 30 years. Wow, that's a lot. So, I want to ask... These challenges of marriage that we see, uh, talking about finances, what does it mean to have financial challenges in marriage? Okay, financial challenges is not a new thing in marriage. Even in the circular world, everybody has that experience. Then when we are talking of financial problem in marriage, this may, it simply means when the expenses is more than income, that is it. Oh, thank you very much, sir. When the expenses is more than income. Truly, what you find in a lot of marriages is that when the expenses, you know, is more than the income, you begin to see a lot of reaction from the wife, from the husband as well. And this may even affect the children. Another thing that I want to ask is, how does financial challenges affect couples in their marriage? Hmm, that is a great problem. There is no way it will not affect the, the couples. According to the African setup, the husband is the breadwinner of the family. According yes. to, even in the Bible support, it's yes. first Moses chapter 5, verse 8. Yes. But now, when the source of income is now blocked, or the expenses is more than income, there is no way the family will not be affected. Now, you will, the first thing is that the husband will lose the respect, yes. even from his, from his wife. Can you hear that, viewers? The husband will lose the respect. He will lose the respect. Yeah. Even from the experience, we have a brother who worked with the airline some years ago. Immediately, he lose the, 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 he have the financial problem. Even among the, his children, the children are not giving that respect again. Wow. Even the children Even will not the give children. respect. You see, before this time, if the man just say, oh my God, you have six children, the six children will come. Yes. Because the man is, boy, he is, 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 uh, has the money. Yes. You see, when he's coming from Lagos, he buy this one, buy this. Yes. Even the children are expecting him to be coming every week. Yes. Immediately, he say, pay, 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 pay. all the children will be on the gate, open the door. Yes. But immediately, if he didn't take a week, that our brother lose his work. His wife, that I know, they, he had not been calling him names before. Uh -huh. He's the MD, DC, <laughs> the angel, my sweetheart. Uh -huh. the he called him, Demola. Uh -huh. <laughs> I cannot continue to feed you. You uh -huh. have to look for something to do. Oh my God. When he said, I'm a can, all the children don't even answer him. Uh -huh. In fact, when the man is telling us his experience at the church, yes. the man is crying. Oh. Telling us because oftentimes when, they are talk, when we are discussing, when we have some discussions, on the the role of women and so on and so forth. And now the Bible recognizes the woman as a weaker person. That brother usually argue with us. Say women are not weaker person. They are stronger. <laughs> the man has not get the experience. But if they the money, the source of income block. block. This is in fact the man was forced to go and learn how to trade in the body yeah. You see, when he was sick, nobody to take care of him. Mm -hmm. The children abandoned him. They weak in fact. It's not an easy thing. It's, it really affects the family. That's why uh, the Yoruba adage, when the finances are blocked, 
Oh, it's no more coming as Can expected. Can you say that again? Allah will not judge. Can't judge your tower. God will not allow to eat our enemy's friend. Okay. Uh, our, our, our enemy enemy's food. food. Okay. You see, that is our prayer. Mm -hmm. But now the friend don't even cook. <laughs> ah, you not going to eat your enemy food? You see, Allah will not judge your tower. Or any cook going to cana. But Allah will not judge your tower. That is the problem. Yeah. There is no way the family will not be facing crisis. Yeah. Even sometimes, from what I learned when I was in Lagos. A brother, Brother Vincent by name, he yes. commits suicide because of this. Oh my God. He commits suicide. He's a member of the congregation. That is extreme. He commits suicide because the wife ran away with his two kids. Oh, my that God. is it. It's not an easy thing. We don't pray for it. Yes. And if it happens, God yes. will give all the grace to bear it. So you can see, you see, it can even get to the extent of somebody committing suicide. Financial challenges is not something to play with, but it's something that uh, we see everywhere. It's terrible. Another question we want to ask, what could be, or should I say, what are the reasons behind financial challenges in marriage? What are the reasons? Uh, there are many reasons. The, one of the reasons is that many of us will fail to plan. Yes, we fail to plan. According to Luke chapter 14, verse 28, many couples fail to plan. We fail to plan. You see, when you are getting money, the Yoruba adage believe that money is just a visitor. Yes. Immediately, if it, you are opportune to get it. Make sure you use something, you use, you use, you use it to do something yes. tangible so that when the thing disappears, at least if you cannot feed the whole family, you will yes. feed, yourself. You feed yourself. You see, that's it. Many of us fail to plan ahead. Fail to plan. You see, that's the, one of the reasons. Another yeah. reason, it may be a trials of faith. Okay. You know, many get married for wrong motive. Oh, yes. From my experience, I have a, an uncle who got married to a rich family. That yes. girl is from rich family. Yes. You see. Then, and you know, when the woman get money past out bank, now he will control. You see? Yes. To the extent that he will say, that yo, come here. Yes. Controlling our brother, a graduate. You first see graduate as if, even if he didn't pass through by wow. because this woman was in money. Yes. You see, it may be a trial of faith. Trial you of see, faith. Trial, yes. According to James chapter 1, yes. verse 2 to 3, you yes. see, it may be a trial of faith. Yes. And also it may be, even Satan can also cause it. Yes. You see, then the country we have also, yes. our government, the bad government, uh, yes. the governing system the in Nigeria situation. is too bad. Yes. They don't even have plan yes. for us. Yes. You see, that is, we have many reasons. All right. Thank you very much, sir. So you can see, if I allow daddy to go on, there are so many reasons that can cause financial challenges. He has talked about uh, poor planning. He has talked about getting married for the wrong reason. And he also talked about uh, uh, what do we call it? The lack of faith. The, uh, the, the trial, trial, the, trial, the trial of faith. Trial of faith. Yes. These things and many other things could cause financial challenges. But we must learn how to manage the situation. I want to ask again: Can we say that the economic situation of Nigeria has affected a lot of marriages? Even not only affected, it has devastated. Oh, it destroyed wow. many marriage. Yeah. It destroyed destroy many homes. Mm -hmm. You see, many of the, the women now, yeah. including some of the sisters, yes. you see, they don't become also. I've, <laughs> I've had a married woman that said that, I've had a sister. Uh, can you now, imagine? You see, now, in the church. In the church. now going to the world, yeah. you see what is going on. Mm -hmm. You see. It's not an easy thing. It has yes. affected, really, yes. destroyed. You see, yes. and that is why you see many, even many people are not ready to marry again. Yes. Many mature men, um, uh, br br brother, yes. they are not even ready to marry. to marry. They prefer to be committing fornication instead yes. of getting married. Getting married because, because they know what is involved. They don't want to bear responsibility. The responsibility beyond. They don't want to face financial challenges. Challenges and many other problems. Yes. That's it. It's okay. not an easy thing. Thank you, sir. So you, you sir? see. The economic situation of any country can add to the financial challenges of a couple. Particularly that of Nigeria, when you look at it, everybody knows what we are, where we are and what we are facing. You know, for you to eat a plate of food now, you can imagine what it will cost you. So the economic situation of the country is not helping matters at all. But what can we do? What can we do? We must find a solution around it. Uh, it is what we have, and we must try to deal with it. Now, I want to ask another question. Should the financial challenges 
cause division or separation for a couple because a lot of couples are out of this problem. You know, I know many have separated, many have divorced, but should it be the case? Hmm. It depends on their level of faith. One, their level of faith. Yes, okay. two, it also depends on their associate. According to First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 33, evil communication corrupt good morals. Yes. It depends on the associate. Yes. In reality, to be sincere, the financial as problem we are facing in Nigeria is not a new thing. Yes. It has been there since the time of our fathers. Yes. But they still live together because they understand the same. Yes. But today, people are not ready. Yes. You see? The sisters of today, even the if they have lift me to the phone, yes. the sisters, some of the sisters today, they are not ready. Yes. You see, they will say, they will just let you know that everybody took by everybody took her, Man. everybody that won't salon You <laughs> see, if the thing is not easy again, they will run away. Yeah, yeah. They are not ready to endure. Yeah. You see, but that the the, the the financial problem we are facing today in Nigeria, in reality, to be sincere. Yeah. Should not affect our marriages, but because of this society, we find ourselves. Yes. You see, and in reality, that is it. Okay, thank you. It shouldn't much. affect our marriage, yes. our, so, marriages, our homes. What our daddy has said here is that financial challenges should not make you to run away from your marriage, it should not cause separation, it should not cause divorce. That is it. Everybody knows that these challenges are there, but what is also saying is that. These challenges has always been there, even from the time of our fathers. So that should not be a reason for you to leave your marriage. You must always try to find a way to walk around it. Where you are running to, who says there's no financial challenges there? It will meet you there. It is everywhere. I want to thank you for watching. But before we go, I want to uh, ask Daddy to give advice to some of to the people that are facing financial challenges. What is your advice for them? Okay, my uh, sincere advice for them is that even before marriage, everybody have to plan. And so we should have it in the mind, in the mind, in our, in the, at the back of our mind, that marriage is for worse and for, for good. good. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is it. For good, yes. And for worse, and we should have it at the back of our mind. And we should also always remember what Job said. There is no way you will receive good yes. without expressing the other part. Yes. When the good thing comes, let us cope with it. Let us manage it very well, excellently, yes. planning for the future. Yes. You see, then when the other thing now come, uh -huh, we now dance back yes. to the little thing, the little investment that we have. And also we need to be praying for one another and also praying for our families yes. so that God will not allow Satan to use the financial or the situation we are facing in the country today to destroy our families. Oh, thank you very much, sir. You have heard the advice. You need to plan well. You need to have faith. You need to, you need to be uh, strong because when these challenges come, they can pull you down. But you have to be strong. I want to appreciate our daddy for joining us in our program and uh, sharing the words of wisdom with us. So I want you to stay tuned to this channel. Continue to watch. Subscribe. Subscription is for free. I want you to subscribe. And uh, share to other people so that they can benefit from this program. It's not for you alone. Other people need to benefit. And God will bless you as you continue to watch. Daddy, thank you for coming to thank our you for program. Me God bless you. Amen. And some other time we would like to invite you again to uh, give us more advice on these uh, issues of marriage. Okay. Thank, thank you, you all for watching. And uh, till we meet again in our next episode. Bye. Bye.